I am thrilled to introduce everyone tonight to, to the delightful, the insanely talented Joe Ellen Pellman is right here. There you are. Look at you. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Thank you for having me, James. I miss you. I miss you too. Now, how's it going? In, insane few days. Where in the world are you right now? So I'm uh, home in Cincinnati, Ohio with my mom and our cats and our dog. And I'm just really enjoying being home right now and hugging, hugging my loved ones. Yeah, it's been. You, yeah. Moved, you moved back just when the, the pandemic started out. How has it been for you out, out there? No, it has been, uh, yeah, so I, I moved back to Ohio, like back in March, like right after we shut down. And it's been, I think such a blessing being um, home and having this time with my family. I feel like I've connected like with my grandparents way more than I have, you know, since I was in high school. Um, and yeah, I, it's been fun being able to like watch the prom with them in their, in their condo and sharing that experience with them. It's been good. Is this the grandmother that I had the, the privilege of FaceTiming with when we were filming? Yes, that is my, How that's my Nima, doing? as we call her. She's good. Yeah, no, she's still, I mean, she still brings that up every time I talk about you. She's like, oh yeah, my friend who I FaceTimed with. Um, so I, <laughs> yeah, she, that really meant a lot to her. Um, yeah, when you FaceTimed her in the hospital this past year, she's sort of doing well. What did she think of your performance in the film? She must have been so proud. She, I mean, she is so proud every time. It's like every time I go over there, like we, uh, she wants to watch it. And so I like, we bring over a, a laptop and like hook our computer up and like we watch the prom. Um, and it's funny, I like had to get my own Netflix account for this because I was using a friend from high school for the past like six years. But I knew no. <laughs> I like, if I'm going to be sharing this with my grandparents, I can't be on, um, you know, an old friend's account. I have to actually get my own. So now I can share it with her and it can be my account and it is great. So actually Did Netflix, Netflix not even give you an account given you're the star mm -hmm. of one of their hit films. No, they do not. They did not give me an account. Um, but <laughs> if they, Although I want guess they did to, pay you for the film, be... so they probably thought you could use <laughs> some of that money for the I fifteen know. bucks or whatever it is. <laughs> I know. Now the movie obviously came out at Christmas, and, and you know we've seen a lot of each other over screens these past few weeks, and in normal times there would be a premiere. There'd be red carpets but you know we're all in in lockdown have you felt any change have you felt any reaction since the film came out i mean i have felt just an overwhelmingly positive reaction on social media and like the messages that i'm getting like from people like sharing their story or like how the prom um made them feel accepted and loved but like in terms of like day to day my life is pretty much completely completely the same. I still empty the cat litter box every day. I have yet to be recognized um, anywhere. So no autographs, no selfies or anything. So that's, it's very chill. I'm enjoying that um, everything's been pretty normal. I mean, I, one of my favorite things when people ever, you know, talk to me about the film and, and always without question, bring up your performance in it. And I tell them that it's your first film no one can believe it and in truth i couldn't believe it because the first time you walked onto the set you were so composed you felt so i just thought oh my god she's just the most natural performer i've seen well, what was that first day like from your point of view were you were you nervous going in you know with meryl streep oh and gosh. nicole kidman Thank goodness for you, for Keegan, for all of my dear actors who looked out for me because I didn't know what um, going 10-1 meant. I didn't know what crafty meant. I didn't know that there was, you know, what a first AD was or that there was a second AD. So thank you guys for um, <laughs> guiding me through my first days. But you did, and I can remember there was a, there was a really lovely moment when you came on set because we'd been filming. I think that the myself and Nicole and Meryl and Andrew and you arrived sort of later that day, and there was a really incredible moment where Meryl. Well, just say what what Meryl Streep did um, when you arrived on the yeah. show because I think it's a really mm -hmm. it says a lot about her and it's a lot about you. Yeah, no, we were filming in the hotel lobby and I walk in and like all you guys were sitting on the couches, like talking with each other and laughing with each other. 
Um, and I walked over and Meryl scooched over and had a seat next to her and she was like, come sit by me. And like, in that moment, she literally made room for me, but it was also just sort of symbolically, it was like, Hey, no, you are, you're a part of this cast. You're one of us and let's do this thing. And so, I mean, it's still one of my most treasured memories of that experience. So great. I have such great memories of all those days, but I want to talk about this. You and uh, your co-star in the film, Ariana DeBose, who, you know, the two of you are so brilliant in the film. You have launched the Unruly Hearts Initiative. Can you explain to anybody who doesn't know what this is, what it is and, and how they can be involved? Yes, thank you for bringing that up. So we started the Unruly Hearts Initiative for anyone who feels called to action after watching the prom, whether it's to get help or to give help. And so this year for 2021, we're partnering with three fantastic organizations who are doing incredible work, uh, the Trevor Project, Covenant House, and the Point Foundation. And so we are uh, connecting our young LGBTQ plus audiences with these amazing organizations and we're raising money for them. And yeah, I I am just so, so excited for the year to come. Well, that's a wonderful thing. It has been the greatest pleasure of this whole job, really getting to know you. And I'm so excited for the rest of the world to see how unbelievably gifted and talented and wonderful you are. I love you very, very much. Joel and Pelman, everybody. The Prom is on Netflix right now.